Hey, Michael Lee here. I got another riff for you that is pretty cool. And this is another one that I stole from uh, Randy Rhodes. This is kind of a classic Randy Rhodes riff. And you probably hear him do it in a lot of songs. Uh, in particular, I think he does it in Goodbye to Romance. And another song that I love is called S-A-T-O. I have no idea what that means. I'm sure some kind of uh, Aussie encrypted deal. I, I have no no clue. But the song is great anyways. It's very... It's pretty simple. I'd say it's pretty simple. And it's based off of the uh, minor, uh, natural minor scale. Okay, so I'm going to do this in E minor. It's going to uh, it's going to be about five or six different notes. So I'll walk you through it, each note, and then I'll kind of just build the riff off or, off of that. Okay, so you're going to want to bend on the in this case since it's and, and remember these are just patterns. So whatever I do here, I can do anywhere on the neck. I'm just moving uh, just moving the pattern. Okay, so bend in this case I'm going to do it in E minor. So I'm going to bend on the twelfth fret of the G string. I'm going to put my fingers, my first finger across two strings at the same time, the B string, which is the second string, and the E string. So I'm going to put my fingers on there, almost making, well it is making a chord. Okay, so I'm going to put my fingers there, because I'm going to hit these notes too, hit these notes also, and then I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to go to the 15th fret of the second string or B string and I'm going to pull off on that to the 12th fret of the B string then I'm going to go to the 13th fret of the B string I'm going to pull off on that to the 12th fret of the B string and then go back and start it all over again so it's going to sound it sounds like this slow okay and then you can do stuff after, after that to kind of finish off the riff Sounding riff, really. I think in uh, Goodbye to Romance is down here. Ah, see how I switch my fingers up? See, when I go up into these higher notes, my fingers, most fingers, I mean, uh, unless you're like Steve I and you have little alien fingers, yeah, they don't really fit as well. It's it's kind of, it can be difficult to really get your fingers in a nice position here. So I usually switch up and just use the three fingers, these three fingers on the top and then I'll spread out on the bottom where you have more room. So if I'm doing it down here, I'll use my pinky a little bit more. If you don't have to, you can use that third finger. Alright, so that's a real cool riff. You can use it anywhere that you want to in your uh, solo. It'll sound good. You can do it fast, you can do it slow, which is a great, great riff. Hope that helps out. If you want to uh, combine the last couple videos, I guess we can try to do that. And let's see, we had a Dorian thing going on. We had the blues, Dorian, and minor, right? We had the uh, Randy Rhodes little riff there. And now I guess we can do the Rhodes, Dorian, blues, minor all together. Let's see, I, I don't even know if I could do it. So <laughs> let's see, the, the Dorian thing with the blues and the minor goes like this, if you recall, if you saw that video. If not, you better go check it out. So it's these are uh, these notes right here. Okay. And then uh, that combined with a little Randy Rhodes riff. And then now we have the second Randy Rhodes style riff. Okay, let's see if I can put all these three together. Let's see. That was a little tough. Let's see how I'm going to do it. Oh, that's how, that's how we should do it. We start out like this. Okay, see? So I started with this little riff here. Then I did this Randy Rose thing. Then I went to the blue scale. 
Dorian. Okay, let's take it out. Ooh, man. All right, well, see, just have fun with it. Take these riffs, enjoy them, or, you know, play with them a little bit, see how it, how it feels for you, and experiment, and just, uh, man, just make some music and enjoy yourself. That's what it's all about. Check out the blog, shoot me an email, uh, give me a comment on the blog, gifts, questions, whatever you want. I'll do what I can to help you out. All right, hope this helped. Peace.